Okay, so in this video, I want to show you how to get these header rows, this row right here on top of the header, onto each one of these pages. Notice how I go to the second page and we do not have this header row. So I want it to show up on this page as well. That way I understand exactly what each column means. So the way to do this, all I have to do is simply click on the table, right click on it. I'm gonna run down to table properties. The table properties dialog box is going to open up. You're gonna click on row and then under options, you're gonna see repeat as header row at the top of each page. I'm gonna click on this. A check mark is gonna appear and then all I need to do is press OK. And then when I scroll down, you'll notice that right here I have the header row on the following page. And if I scroll down to the next one, same thing, same thing. And then when I start a new table, let's see if it did it down here. Oh, nope. This is a new table. So what I need to do, same thing. Right click on the table, go to table properties. The table properties dialog box is going to open up. I'm going to click on row. Then I'm going to click on repeat as the header row at the top of each page. Press OK. And voila, same thing. Each page is going to have the table row. So same thing. Last table. I'm going to run down to table properties. Click on row. Repeat as the header row at the top of each page, press OK, and there you have it. So I hope this helps you going forward. Y'all have a wonderful week ahead, and I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care.